Hey pitmasters, what is up? I bet you I can make better beef jerky in a smoker than in a dryer. Most of the time beef jerky is made in a dryer like this, but you can make beef jerky on a barbecue. You can smoke it, you can make it taste better, and today I want to prove that to you guys. So what are we going to do? We're going to make two batches of my favorite beef jerky, put half of it on the smoker, and half of it in the dryer and then we're going to find out which is best. The first recipe is going to be a hot one. I got 10 red peppers. We're going to take the tops off and put them in the blender. To this we're going to add two garlic cloves and one thumb size of ginger. 75 milliliters of Worcester sauce or Worcester sauce. Make sure you, make sure you never get Worcester in your eye. Oh, that burns. But what the Worcester does it provides us with acidity and salinity. So salt and sour, and that's what really works on our beef for beef jerky. Now we want to add a hint of sweetness, just disguised in the background. So we're going to add some maple syrup, around 50 milliliters. Now we're going to hit the blender and let it turn into a really nice smooth marinade. Now what is important to know about marinades is that they're totally different from sauces or anything else. You want to have bold flavors in your marinade because it's going to be diluted when it goes into the beef. But you still want it to stand out, especially with beef jerky. So you need to have big, bold flavors. Now if you're like me, you want to taste what you put into your food. <laughs> and in this case, it's scary. Ugh. Denise, come here. I need a test subject. It's there. <laughs> it's there. It's definitely there. Is it spicy or not? Yeah, it's spicy. Definitely spicy. But you get some sweetness mm -hmm. and you get a little bit of that Worcester sauce, that saltiness, that barbecue flavor in the background, but it's all coming later. When you first, stingy. It's kind of stingy, right? But it's really good. The next recipe is going to start with our favorite ingredient, ketchup manis. We're going to use a lot of it. Basically, ketchup manis could just be the whole marinade. This is one cup of ketchup manis. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of vinegar to this. This is oak barrel aged vinegar. Next we're going to add a barbecue rub. Now you don't need to add a barbecue rub, but it gives you that barbecue vibe. So that's why I'm going to add it. We're going to add around five tablespoons of it. This is a classical style barbecue rub, perfect for our beef jerky. Now we'll mix this up and all done. See how easy that is? I like these blenders. Wow, the smell that comes out of this is amazing. Why are you smiling? <laughs> you like this one already? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. When you put ketchup manis in anything, it's already a winner. It's like bacon. Both our marinades are finished. Time to take out our beef. For our meat, I selected a beautiful cut. It's an Irish hip hanging, or in Dutch it's known as kogel beef stuk, a bullet steak. Don't know why, but it's really good. And you know why? Because it's super, super lean. That's what we need for our beef jerky. As you can see, our cut is not equal in shape. It has a different end on this side and a different end on this side. So we're going to cut it up into three parts. We got the end part, we got the middle section, and then we got the other end. Look at this beautiful Irish grass-fed beef. So super lean, almost no fat. And that's a really good thing for when you want to make beef jerky. If you have fat, it will spoil early and it will taste less good. We got two options right now. Either we're going to slice it with the grain or against the grain. If we're going to slice it with the grain, it's going to be more jerky. And when you slice it against the grain, it's going to be less jerky. I did a test video on this. And personally, I prefer to slice it with the grain so it becomes a little more jerky. Next phase in the process is to start marinating these small thin slices of beef. Marinating thin slices like this, it's not going to take 24 hours. It only takes a few hours, but if you put it in a vacuum bag, it's done within the hour. So we're going to put half of it in this bag, half of it in the other bag. Now we're going to add the marinades 
and we're going to spread them out through the bags and we'll shake it around just to make sure that all the beef is getting marinated properly. Now we're going to vacuum our beef jerky. By sucking all of the air out of the bag, the marinade actually goes into the meat. This is the perfect marinade technique. Our marinades are done, time to put them in the fridge for one hour. And through the miracle of time, our marination process is completed. Now the trick is to take them out and start drying them straight away because look at how moist they are. By patting them dry with a paper towel, we're going to make sure that they dry as fast as possible. You want to try one, Denise? Raw? Yeah, I'm not sure. I want to try one raw. It smells so good. You want to? Yeah, catch up, Manish? Mm. Oh, I think mine is better. It has some like fruity flavor. It's really sharp. I only stop eating. Otherwise, we got nothing left for the dryer. Now that we've patted dry our beef jerky, we're going to transfer it to a wired rack. We're going to place the wired rack in the dryer and in the smoker. It makes for easy transporting and for easy drying. Denise, I thought you were going to help me. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying. Dude! Trying is not the same as doing. Whatever. Put the gloss on. <laughs> you look like a flappy clown. We got one set to put in the dryer and another set to put in the smoker. I'm going to set my dryer to 65 degrees Celsius. And this is a standard operating machine for drying beef jerky. So this is going in for three hours. And the other parts we're gonna put on the smoker. I wanna introduce you guys to my new smoker. It's the Napoleon smoker. They've had it for quite a while. It's just not been on the show yet. It's a fantastic big smoker and it's perfect for our beef jerky. The first thing that I'm going to do is fire up our charcoal. We'll put some fire starters on the bottom, light them up, and then we're gonna take a chimney starter and fill it up one third of the way with charcoal. Set it on top. Wait for the charcoal to be fully lit up and then we're going to put it at the bottom of a barbecue. Now, as you can see, this is the smallest fire you can imagine, and that's exactly what we need. What I'm worried the most about is that the temperature rises too quickly and it's actually starting to cook our beef because we want to prevent cooking our beef. And a small fire like this is gonna prevent that. So now, of course, we need to add smoke. And therefore, I've got some wood chips. I pre-soaked these wood chips and we're going to put them on top of the coals and put a lot of it on there. The wood chips are also gonna raise the temperature, so this is about the maximum of total fuel that you wanna put in. Time to build up the barbecue. We'll put in our first stack. As this is a water smoker, it has a water pan, but we're going to leave that out. We want to dry out the meat as much as possible. So, no water pan. Put the first grill grate in, the second stack on, and the second grill grate in. Lid on. And now we want to open the top fan completely. We want to have the smoke refreshed. So we have to keep it open and open. If the temperature drops, because you have everything open, all the heat is getting out, you need to add more fuel. If the temperature rises too much, you need to take out some fuel because we're going to be smoking at a temperature of around 90 degrees Celsius. This is ready to go on the smoker. Oh, it smells so fantastic, it's just crazy. I got two sticks. I don't want to have my rack sitting on the lower position because it's too close to the fire. And we have a big chance of actually doing more than drying out our beef and cooking it. So we're going to place this on top. There we go. And Denise, if you can set the second rack on, this is going to be the perfect way to smoke our beef jerky. Just imagine how many racks you can feed on a fitter underneath. Now we'll put the lid on and now we'll let this smoke for around two hours. Because we have so little fuel in our smoker, we need to keep our eye on it and we need to make sure that it keeps the temperature by adding charcoal. And you already have to think preventive. So if the temperature is getting to a point where it's stabling out, you have to already imagine it going down again. It's not like normal smoking with the water pan inside. You gotta go preemptive. Put the charcoal in while it's stable. And then 
trying to keep it stable. It will go down, trying to keep it stable, just one chunk at a time, a little bit of smoke wood, and then just keep fueling it, fueling it, and keep it at the same temperature, 90 degrees Celsius. Our beef jerky from the dryer turned out perfect. Nice and dry, but we're going to leave them until Thursday. So that's two days from now, we're gonna leave these in the fridge, and then we're gonna bite into these because they get even better. All right. Orson, when you put the barbecue uh, out and you made it ready, yeah. did you think about maybe removing the hooks that are in there? I saw the menu, but the hooks were still in there. Look. Smoke, smoke barbecue hooks. All right, we're gonna take our beef jerky off the smoker. It looks really good. So this is our ketchup manis. Let me show you guys how dry it actually became. Let's take a look at this. You see how it shreds? That's really dry. It's really tough as well. Only one. Just take one. Where's the news? She's not here. Come on. It's good. It's really good. It's really, really good. Look at how nice and dry they come out to be. Now they're not too dry as they might appear to dry, but that's why we put them in the bag. They're gonna be so much better. It took a little longer than I expected. I expected this to take two hours, but it took up to three hours to smoke. So, a little longer, but the end result is what counts. Let's zip these up, right on what it is. Now we need to store these somewhere safe. I can't just put them with the, in the family fridge. Otherwise, in two days, these are gone. So I'm just gonna store them somewhere in the barn, in the fridge, where no one can find them. See you in two days, Morrison. We're gonna be eating these. <laughs> all right, two days have gone by, they're finally done. If all went well, they improved a lot over time. So which one are you gonna try first, Denise? The dry chili one. Go for it. Spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. <laughs> I'll have one too. Mm. Nice jerk. Mm, ginger, I got ginger, I got spicy. I got sweet. Whew, it's quite quite the spi spicy spicy stuff. I guess we now have to compare it to the smoked chili. Yep. You ready for it? Yep. Go. Ooh. Mm. You get the smoke flavor. No. And again, you get the ginger. You get a little bit of the sweetness, but the sweetness is a little less. It's now more ac acidity from the smoke that you get as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, now comes the spiciness. But it's less than from the dried one. Really? Ah. Ah, like if, this one better. Yeah, me yeah. too. Smoked better. Now let's give the dried ketchup a try. There you go. Mm. Oh, that is tasty. Well, this is better than when it came out of the dryer. This improved a lot. I like it. Mm. Mm. It's beef jerky. It takes a while. All right, now the smoked version. It's drier. That's a lot drier. This is funny. I like the dried version of this better. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty dry. I like the flavor though. The flavor is good. Yeah, it has more flavor than the dry one. Yeah, which is a good thing if you like a long chew. I really enjoyed all of the beef jerky. It was really good. I especially like the ketchup manis flavor because it kind of gives a licorice flavor to your beef jerky. It might be something that Dutch guys really appreciate, but I think for us, ketchup manis style, we really like that. It's, it's something else, you need to try that. Overall, the dried versions, they had a little less flavor because there was no acidity that you get from the smoke and the smoke flavor itself. So it's missing that, but they're still good beef jerky. But the clear winners are these two. The ketchup man is smoked and the chili smoked. But if I have to choose between these, I'm gonna go for ketchup man is smoked. And even though the ketchup man is smoked was a little bit dry, I still prefer it over all of the others. <clears throat> this one's better. This one's not that dry. No, this one is good. The top ones on the stack, they were, they were dry, but this is, this is magic. So if you guys wanna try beef jerky, Try the recipe, catch your mind, it's freaking awesome. Chili pepper is really good as well if you like the spiciness. And in the meantime, I would just like to say a big thank you to all of our patrons, our YouTube members, 
Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. And until the next time, let's say, eet smakelijk and keep on grilling. Oh. Mm. You want some, Orson? You need to start, start with the dried one. Chili, because that's the worst one. The worst one? The worst of ultimately good baby jerky. It's nice. It's nice, right?